So to win three tests in a row, all with double digit ratings, is an incredible feat. But then again, the Caliber Boss Nut is an incredible bike. The smaller 32 tooth chainring also brings the chain line closer to the main pivot, which in turn means the bike pedals and climbs more efficiently, all without losing its ability to absorb bumps. With a slack head angle, the steering response is composed and controlled. The fit of the bike is on the money too. The stubby stem and wide bars perfectly matching the modern frame proportions. The latest Evo version even gets a SRAM 1x11 drivetrain. And that's something I thought I'd never see on a thousand pound full suspension bike. And as we found out in this year's test, it was the superior performance of the 130mm Travel Caliber Boss Nut that gave an advantage over bikes with very similar geometry. So we've come to Go Outdoors, the unlikely home of groundbreaking mountain bike development, to meet the man behind the Boss Nut, Mike Sanderson. So what, so what was the inspiration behind the Boss Nut? I wanted to create a bike that was, uh, you know, truly capable and bring, um, you know, a massive amount of fun to people. Yeah. Um, I was fed up with seeing people having a negative experience of mountain biking, where I know that yeah. it's one of the greatest sports out there. Like, even if I've fallen off my bike and stuff, I've still had a good day out yeah, on the yeah, bike. Totally. Yeah. Um, and I'd seen people kind of coming out of the end of trails and stuff like that on bikes that you know weren't necessarily uh, sort of designed particularly, you know, particularly very well. I think a lot of brands are really focused on like the, the kind of higher end yeah. of the product development and like and the lower end bikes are just tacked on. So I've been saying for years um, that geometry, good geometry and size and doesn't add anything to the bottom line. Yeah. Um, so how come it took so long for a bike like the Boss Nut to come along? Um, well, for Calibre, it took a little while to kind of, uh, you know, sort of make sure that we had, like, you know, a place in the market, yeah. created a brand, uh, create some awareness, and then sort of steadily move up. And that's what I really wanted for the brand, where a lot of brands start high and come down. Yeah. I really wanted to kind of bring that sort of entry level, uh, you know, with the hardtails and then move up, point up. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, sort of. I mean, I mean, this isn't the first bike brand you work for. No. So, so was, why didn't you do it before? Um, we well, have like, yeah, sort of uh, your hands tied potentially on certain things. You know, you've got, uh, you know, uh, committees, you've got sort of uh, a direction of, uh, uh, of uh, sort of that uh, company mm -hmm. wants to be going in terms of some ways, you know, if they want to just be driving sort of uh, sales at a certain price point yeah. and things like that. Um, and then, yeah, you know, that, that uh, risky potentially sort of uh, go that we want to push the norm um, can kind of uh, put a lot of people off. So, um, yeah. I mean, there's not much risk in building a bike that everybody wants to ride is it no but uh, yeah it's you know sometimes like i say it takes a while for um people to kind of come around to your way of thinking or um you know just kind of trusting you sometimes yeah. that, that you know what you're talking about um and then like you say everything is like kind of at this price point is a, a little bit of a compromise give so, and take yeah so things like the stem and and the, and the the seat post you know they don't need to be branded um yeah. you know so as long as they're a good component and they're up to the task and they're mm -hmm. good in their form so a nice short stem that you know isn't sort of uh, you know old in some way or shape or form yeah. You know, it saves a couple of dollars here and a couple of dollars there. And then you can put that into... Then, yeah, you can kind of maybe up the level of the fork or, um, you know, like the WTB tyres. You yeah. know, they're another key point. You know, a lot of bikes come with, you know, awful tyres. Yeah, and... I mean, that's one of the things that separated your bike in the test this year. Yeah. I mean, well, one of the several things, but yeah. I think like a couple of other bikes where they had a good shape, they had reasonable suspension, but they had dud tyres. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. you know, like, although these bikes are available internationally, um, you know, they're designed and developed mm -hmm. Sheffield, you know, we've got some yeah. pretty sticky, gloopy mud yeah, out there. Like, right the you, today, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so, the, you know, sort of having decent tyres is super mm -hmm. key. But the Boss Nut's a high-end ticket item for, oh, for yeah, outdoors, totally. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, you know, the number one selling product for, mm. for, for Go Outdoors and uh, <laughs> which is pretty good for a camping shop. Yeah, um, totally, totally. And, uh, you know, and it's the number one selling product for obviously the, the cycling side of things. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, 
it really just goes to show that, you know, like you said before, if you really kind of think about how that bike's going to be ridden yeah. and put yourself in that, that consumer's yeah. uh, point, yeah. you know, we can put a pro level rider on any bike, whether it's good yeah. or bad, yeah, totally. and they'll still be faster than me. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, where, so if we can be on a bike that is actually well thought out and got all of those, you know, good geometry, good angles, good suspension, mm -hmm. good tires, good brakes, so you can efficiently and slow yeah. you down, all of those things come together and create like a package that ultimately means you come down to the end of the trail with a massive grin on your face. Well, um, I for one thing, you create a great package. So. Thanks very much. And I think um, obviously that's reflected in your, like in how successful the bike's been. Yeah.